Hi there everyone, my name's Luke and welcome to my channel. As you can probably see, I'm getting off to a little bit of a late start tonight, but I think they're all really late starts at this time of year. I hope you'll join me as I do a one night effort and try and shoot the Eastern Veil vale Nebula. So while I'm just waiting for it to get dark now, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the equipment I'm going to be using tonight. Um, those of you who've watched a few of my videos in the past is probably uh, quite familiar with this equipment, but for anybody who's new, this is aimed at you guys. Um, tonight I'm going to be using my Skywatcher Spree 120. That's a Super Apo triplet telescope. I've got the matching field flattener attached to the back of that. I'm going to be shooting through an Optolong L Extreme filter tonight as we're shooting a supernova remnant. It's going to be very strong, predominantly in hydrogen and oxygen wavelengths. So that filter would be absolutely perfect for that. And the camera I'm recording it all through is going to be an ASI 2600MC Pro. So as this is my first session back using this telescope in a little bit of a, a while now, I've been doing a series, uh, some of you may have caught here, where I've been comparing results taken with my old 150 PDS reflector and this uh, refractor. But I just couldn't really hold on any longer and I really wanted to get back to shooting with my favourite scope, which is this one. Um, so I'm going to try and pick up kind of where I left off in terms of settings and things uh, and make it as simple as possible to get myself reacquainted with the use of this telescope. So to that end, I'm going to be using 10 minute exposures, as that's what I always used to like to shoot with. Uh, and I'm going to be using Gain 100 uh, as it seems to be just working great in all my old images and uh, why complicate things? <laughs> So I just come out to make a start, it's about 11 p.m. now, uh, but unfortunately the time between setting up and now, it's turned to about 70% uh, cloud cover. Now, I'm gonna wait it out a little bit and see what happens, but if not, it's no big deal. I'll just try again tomorrow. Well guys, it's more than a few days later than I'd actually originally planned to pick this video back up. However, the break's been kind of welcome because it's allowed a few things to change. Things are getting a little bit red around here. So in the time between starting uh, recording this video and now, Chloe, uh, you might have met in one of the earlier videos, my extremely long suffering better half, uh, took it upon herself to purchase a William Optics Red Cat 51. Uh, it's been a scope that she and I have wanted for quite a long while. Um, we noticed it came in stock the other day and she just kind of went for it. So she's now got herself a new scope and uh, very kindly has granted me permission to use it when she's uh, not able to, she's currently at work right now. So, as you can probably see behind me right here, the new kit additions didn't actually stop just with the red cap. Now, we have quite a healthy uh, used buy and sell market here in the UK. So, me and Chloe decided to put up an advert and ask if anybody had a full ZWO mono rig that they wanted to sell because we were interested in having a mono camera again in the, uh, the arsenal of equipment available to us. To cut a long story short, uh, a very nice chap by the name of Simon got in contact with us and offered us this for sale, which is an ASI 1600mm Pro, a 8 slot filter wheel also by ZWO, and it comes with a full complement of astronomic filters, which I'm very excited to get using. Now, the cool thing about all this, not just I mean, how cool is it getting all this new gear? But <laughs> the cool thing for me is it's going to enable me to make a lot of comparisons in the future because that's something I really like doing. And it seems like you guys have enjoyed that sort of comparative content also. So now I'm going to be set to do perhaps mono versus color videos, or maybe 
little versus big videos, you know, comparing the uh, Red Cat and the Esprit. A multitude of new things and I'd like to hear maybe if you could leave a comment and let me know what you'd be interested in seeing first. So before I head off inside now, I just thought I'd show you around the rig really quickly. I'm going to do a proper video on this obviously because I'm really excited to actually use it lots this coming season and seasons indeed. Uh, there's going to be many targets that will fit into this field of view just perfectly. Uh, yeah, either this one with the 1600 or the slightly larger field of view granted by the 2600 if we shoot with colour on it at some time. But yeah, hopefully you can see it's all just mounted as it used to be using the, uh, the Samyang system. It's all the same, just this AZ GTI mounted on the uh, equatorial wedge. Uh, the same M12 threaded rod and counterweight happened to be just right to balance this out. Um, Here's the red cat, obviously, with the uh, lens warmer, dew heater sort of thing. The 30mm f4 guide scope, again, with a small heater to stop it dewing over. The ASI 120mm mini is the guide camera for that. We've already talked about the 1600 and the filter wheel and such. And just mounted to the underside of the William Optics dovetail is the actual ASI Air. Uh, that's a really cool little attachment I think. Uh, hopefully you can see there but it's basically held on by another ZWO accessory that you'd usually use for holding on a guide scope. However it works just perfect for this system. Well, it's just gone midnight and everything's finally set up and fully running. I got off to a slightly late start, I would say, but it doesn't really matter. I haven't lost too much time tonight. Um, I've got both scopes on the exact same target. They're both pointing at the Veil Nebula tonight. And uh, I'm going to get a nice wide field shot in hydrogen and oxygen on the Red Cat rig. And hopefully just focus in on one section of the Veil with the Esprit. Let's go take a look at the screens. So hopefully you can see there, that's the third exposure of the night, viewed in full view mode on the Esprit. And I'll just zoom in and show you some of this fine filament detail. It's looking really promising. I would say that's going to be in a quite a nice image. It's a lovely bright target. And down here on, I'll just change the view. On the iPad, we have the ASI Air uh, Red Cat Rig. And that's the first five minute hydrogen alpha sub. So if I just zoom in, you can hopefully see that's looking extremely promising, especially for just a five minute exposure. I can uh, almost not believe it. Well, now everything's up and running successfully, I'm going to head off inside the house and I'll monitor things from in there for a while. Um, I'll come back to you later on with some more updates, but before I go, I've just got to say, how cool is that having two rigs pointing at the exact same target? That's just, that's a bit of an astronomy dream come true for me. <laughs> So it's about quarter to three in the morning now. I came out to check on everything and unfortunately a large bank of cloud is now rolling in. Um, PhD guiding on the main rig there is just currently bonging away in protest. Um, but yeah, that's probably gonna be the end of this session, but it doesn't matter at all because I managed to check absolutely everything that I wanted. So is the Esprit working on that rig properly? It looks like it is. Um, is the red cat working properly? Is the filter wheel the new camera? Um, yeah, it all is. It's working fantastic. And I'm just filled with anticipation for the coming season with that thing. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun using that with Chloe. Um, as always guys, thank you very much indeed for watching and sticking around. Um, all your support just makes this such an enjoyable hobby now. Uh, I always loved it before, but it's just so much better now. Um, and also I'd like to say a very special thank you to everybody who's joined my channel. Um, I enabled channel memberships the other day and I didn't say anything to anybody about it really but 
obviously some people have noticed uh, and clicked to join so I'd just like to say a huge thank you to you guys uh, for choosing to support me so directly in that manner that's uh, absolutely fantastic so thank you very much indeed uh, and I'd like to ask you if that's all right if you see this am I okay to start crediting your names in the future videos um, I think that'd be a nice way to kind of say thank you for uh, your support going forward so um, yeah I've had a great night I hope that you've enjoyed watching the video and until next time, bless guys.